guys, morning again. I didn't get back to you last night uh, when we got to Manchester. Sheffield. That's what I mean. I pay full price at the moment because um, my pass is run out. Well, my pass not run out, but you know what? I need to go to the. I need to actually go and order a new pass, don't I? So we'll do that tomorrow, actually. Him, so it's not costing too much. Bless me. But yeah, I'll get some footage for you guys, of course I will. Um, I brought to SD cards in today as well because I um, didn't want to blow it today. Well, blow the new tube in it. No, I didn't want to uh, blow the memory up, should we say. So I brought two SD cards. Yeah, we'll even stop more. It's fast. 
fascinating to get with a camera. Plus, when I got to um, Hoppins, Newcastle, and uh, Nottingham, I will do a room tour. Um, Nottingham again. Do a room tour, we'll do a travel vlog, we'll do put train time lapse and everything else. And um, we'll put everything in. This vlog's going to be already long because we're already well off the fair in it at some point. Well, we're hoping the weather's going to clear up about 3 o'clock, so get to the dirt 3 o'clock, I'm having a couple of hours. Getting back on the extreme as well today because it's my last time riding that six arm extreme and it's one of the really good extremes and we've got personal horses again. Amazing machine. Sorry about the noise on the train, like I always. But yeah, I hope it's not going to be too quiet. I've decided to come on the early train this morning. It cost me £21 for water from Manchester, Piccadilly to Sheffield. Open return. That's what I'm saying guys, it's like that much, but it was 28 quid, 26 quid yesterday on Transparent Express. Um, that's Transparent either. This is like Northern, so it's a little bit cheaper. I'm saving what, like 5 quid? But, yeah, 5 quid something. So, if I'm going Northern, I might as well just save on 5 quid in my pocket. And plus we've got to save on rides, haven't we, and something to eat and stuff like that, so we'll get a bit of footage in Sheffield today as well. Racks and everything, racks to put um, cases and stuff. I would call them racks, but uh, cases to put in. Or shells.
Welcome aboard this Northern Service 2. Sheffield. Yes. Yeah. 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 The next station is Grindleford.
Look at that, they've done really some work. <laughs> done some cynical work since I've been here. Every time I've gone past it, there's always been cancellations or or whatever, or the train's been destructed or it's not coming to Sheffield because obviously they've had such and such work, but you, they've had quite a lot of industrial work um, on the line. Which addition's had it quite already done up. In terms of everything, it's had it already done up as well, on top of the station. Since the key costs down, like, stopping here while they've been doing the work but they've done a lot of bridge replacement work we're not scheduled to actually leave until 8.58 what time is it scheduled to leave? I think we're leaving now it's bang on time it's bang on time now for this stop leaving but new stops and everything and platform to to Sheffield train station. Oh my god, it was a bit of a trek today. I'm not too sure what I'm doing, but I'm gonna show you some prizes. Like I said, this is the vending machine, so if you do need anything to drink at staying choices, I stare at Go to a corner shop, it's a lot cheaper. But yeah, one of the views that they'll have is the tram line. Probably we'll get the tram line in a bit. It's gonna take my brine up later on. I'm just taking my time around the train station um, but yeah I've just got off my train Richard just got here look at that now, it tells you all destinations of times and everything else platforms finally all the way all different different platforms and stuff like that times of trains are always on there if, if you are struggling times of trains are just there on the platforms which are like 5B, 5, 6B or something um, but yeah, it's like train schedules come up here. Um, but I, I think I don't know what these are for. I think these are for topping out. I'm not too sure. Um, it's a bit like our end, really. Virtually, you've got tapping and tapping out, and you've got tapping out machines and stuff like that. But yeah, virtually, you can walk come through the station. You don't even need 
don't even need to buy your tickets. You can actually walk through the station if you wanted to. Like I said, there's trains. As I say, trains are coming. You can actually see the trains. Um, like I said, that's anti West Coast service. And you can see what trains and stuff are like that when you come here. Which is very interesting to see from the top of this bridge. Um, trains do depart. And uh, I believe last night or yesterday, I had to run from the train. It's a good job, I completely knew what was going on. Uh, that end platform there, which is the one after this, which is platform A, A, I had to run for it um, last night, but I made it. I can't find this road to the bus. Not that many trains running yesterday, and I don't think today there's that many trains running. Um, but yeah, it's not great, just cool. See, you passing need all the trains and stuff coming in and out of Sheffield. I'm going around the town centre now, so we're going to continue to walk into the town centre. Um, so, wait for that train to park so we can get some footage. Sheffield train station you've got about multiple platforms to so do watch you have to go in and out whatever platforms you've got I mean they've all got today so it's days I caught from Manchester Piccadilly today by the way just to come and see this uh... I'm sorry if this bit does actually multiple platforms. I'll get back to you guys in a few minutes when we're walking down. Take some photos. Look at that go. Yeah, this well. Not bombs as well. Up and down. We have trains there as well. Staircase. Right, I better get back to you guys when I get out of the train station now. Um, oh, you enjoyed that a little bit as well. The screens are up there as well. Tells you what platforms. Trains there as well. Would like to be here all day and film, but I've got other places to be in Sheffield. Right, carrying on with the rest of the vlog itself. On to the next one. I will see you out of the station. Look at that, put them there as well. So that's how she understands. Oh, because the Trenfield train station is mad, isn't it? Gonna head out of the station now. Ooh. Let's head out of the train station now. Eh? Those are just right in front of me. I'm sure you probably. Guys, I probably recognise me. Let's carry on the vlog itself. Outside the train station, look at that. There's a massive train station there. Look at that, it's amazing. Well, I'm going out of the train station now. Heading up Sheffield. 
look how I walk up that way to the town center. Oh, I could take you around, but yeah. Gonna take some photos and I'll get back to you guys in a few minutes. I don't know what I'm doing today. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. Um, looking at the maples and this station. Uh, Why doesn't say anything about filming? Nope. There's that many platforms. Bus station is quiet anyway. Yeah, bus station is quiet. It's different routes and stuff. But I'll put it in the video for you guys if you are useful. Got lots and everything. First bus. Look at that first bus and everything. Yeah, this first bus is here, but not in Manchester. Uh, Manchester, first buses are changed to B lines. See, first bus is back here. That's crazy now. Yeah, probably get back to you guys when we get up the other side. I've been walking up this way to the uh, town centre, so I'll get back to you guys when we get out of the bus station. See you guys in a minute.